What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode of Mom and Papa Joe. Today on the menu are beef ribs. We'll, uh, we'll be doing a collaboration with uh, Alton, uh, the Dog Father Barbecue. His link is going to be uh, up top on my left. Uh, also, his link will be in the description box below. Uh, you are going to want to go to his page and check out his beef ribs video and the thousands of other video he has. The dude is a YouTube beast. Uh, he's an awesome cook. Uh, so happy he, uh, he accepted my invite to do this collaboration. Uh, these beef ribs we cooked today are going to be, uh, hopefully, uh, I, I want to try no wrap on my WSM. So maybe a seven hour cook. If this is your first time to our, uh, our channel, we appreciate you stopping in. Uh, please don't hesitate to look around and uh, hit that subscribe button on your way out. Uh, let's get moving. All right, so what I've got here today is a beautiful rack of uh, one, two, three, a prime that I got from my uh, local HEB. I'm not gonna do much trimming. Anything that's loose, I will knock off. Any layers of heavy fat, I will thin out. And I don't remove this fat uh, simply because uh, I think it chars very well. Protects the meat to a degree. Loose edges, yes. Let's see what this backside looks like. I'm not going to remove the membrane. I'm going to create a rub. I'm going to start with a third of a cup of 16 grain meshed black pepper. quarter cup kosher salt I'm actually going to I'm make double batch so two-thirds cup two-third cup black pepper half a cup Half a cup kosher salt. Two tablespoons of Worcester powder. So once again, Two thirds cup, 16 mesh black pepper, half a cup kosher salt, and two tablespoons of Worcester powder. Give that a nice stir. And into our container. Good to go. So we're going to come on back. No mustard today for our binder. We're going to use Maggie. Who going to Maggie? Maggie juice. Ladies and gentlemen, several of you have asked me about this Maggie juice. There are two versions. I call this the Mexican version. This is the more potent, more flavorful. It's darker. This one is kind of like a Maggie light. I'm not a fan of it uh, when it comes uh, to this purpose. So we're going with the Mexican uh, uh, Hugo. Again, nice healthy amount. Really gonna help our rub stick. And if you're really into, uh, if you're really into smoke rings, remember it takes uh, some moisture, takes some liquid on your meat to get that uh, smoke ring uh, to develop, to build up. Take some moisture. So don't be afraid. This Maggie also 
really creates a nice savory umami type uh, taste. Beautiful. First thing we want to do, hit those thighs with a nice healthy amount of this rub. Thick piece of meat, fairly long cook. Don't be afraid. You've heard me say that a thousand times. Add it in. This seasoning, folks, you can adjust, you can adjust the amounts to your preference. Some people do 50-50 black pepper. I tend to do more uh, black pepper and salt. I tend to do more uh, more pepper than salt. It really, really creates a nice healthy bark. And we're going to flip. Come back with the same thing. Good Maggie. And our seasoning. Get this pit warmed up. Well, you've seen me like this before, guys and gals. Uh, I've got that awesome cowboy lump and uh, some uh, western wood uh, pecan chunks. The WSM is uh, the fire pot is about 85% uh, full. That should give me a good seven, eight hours. I lit the usual corner. I'm gonna give this about five minutes to get going on its own. Then I'm putting the chamber on. See you then. So it's been about uh, seven, eight minutes. We've got a nice flame going, indicating that it's, uh, it's well caught. Our chamber is coming on. Today I'm doing something a little different. Instead of the normal pan that goes in there, which I never put any water in the pan, I usually cover it and use it like a, a air sink, an air heat sink. Today I'm going with a with a grate and aluminum foil with holes poked in it. I want some of that uh, grease to drip into the fire. Give me more of a drum type flavor, char grill. We'll see how that works. Lid on wide open. I've got my vents halfway. A little different today. I'm trying to lock this in around 250, no higher than 275. I want to cook between 250 and 275. All right, we've got her locked in right now at 250. That took uh, about 25 minutes to get her situated. Uh, we got a pretty clean smoke going. Our 123A has a nice sweat going, man. And uh, we're just going to put her in, try to maintain that temperature. And we're gonna let these rock uh, for about two hours before we do anything. Uh, here we are at two hours. Let's get that first look. We don't wanna have this open too long because man, this thing is locked in nicely at 250, uh, which uh, I'm loving. Oh, oh, oh baby. Uh, that bark is starting to set nicely. Uh, my usual Maggie and a uh, little beef broth. Again, just gonna miss. I am not looking to 
wet this down completely. I don't want liquid pouring off of here. I just want to moisturize just the hair. Man, I hope the camera can do this justice. So once again, no liquid running off, just nice and moisturized. Oh, that's beautiful. Not gonna even touch it, man. Just let it continue. Hour number three, same thing. A little more spritz. Oh, oh. Little light misting. Oh, that bark is beautiful. Not gonna even lie. Mm. We're just gonna let it continue doing its thing. That thin end usually splits, not a problem. Uh, man, she is beautiful. All right, so here we are at the four hour mark. Uh, this would be the point where I would normally be looking at wrapping. But man, we're gonna bypass the wrap. At least not yet. I'm gonna be patient and ride this out. I'm liking the way it looks. I'm gonna flip it though. I wanna see what's going on on the back side. Uh, and I, I may only flip for an hour. Oh, all right, that direct heat. Alright, and that is one of the reasons why I love to leave the uh, the membrane on because that normally happens. Uh, this is feeling good. So, we're going to spritz that back side as well. And we're going to let this go for another hour. Alright folks, it's been exactly seven hours. And of all the times, man, I've got two neighbors drilling in their backyards. I've got dogs barking. So y'all have to excuse me. And one of the things, oh, this probes like butter. This probes like butter. Like butter. Like butter. <laughs> uh, what's great, uh, one of the things about uh, cooking lower, your meats will take longer to cook but they will also finish at a lower temperature. So for example, these are fi finishing in the 196, 197 range, all right? Uh, as opposed to the 203, uh, 205, uh, when you're going a little hotter and faster. So we're going to remove these. And let me tell you, oh, oh, oh. that's why the dogs are barking. Because this is bark. Hell of a. Alright guys and gals. Uh, this rack has had a good 45 minutes uh, to relax, man. But good gracious, a roof, a roof. You can hear that bark uh, nicely set. Look how thick, how plump these things got. Oh absolutely beautiful nice crunchy bark uh, this is what no wrap is all about and once again it took exactly seven hours like I uh, like I said uh, and uh, if you just if you didn't get it when I said it remember the lower you cook I cooked at 250 for the most part every once in a while it dropped uh, 240 245 uh, but 250 for the most part the lower your temperature cooking, the longer it takes, but the lower your finished temperature will be. Let's get the slicing these. Oh my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh, these juices, these juices, oh my goodness, mm. man, absolutely perfectly seasoned. <laughs> 
<laughs> that don't make no sense. I'm sitting here with the greasy lip. Ladies and gentlemen, mm. I tell you that uh, that Worcester powder really, really adds some umami. The juices. Mm. I know you want to see that middle one, man. Otherwise, I wouldn't slice it. We'd be able to eat off of this one tonight. But I know you want to see this middle one. That's the one we all know and love. Oh. Folks, man, it doesn't get any better. These were primes. It does not get any better. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's a beast. That is a beast. That's a thing of beauty. Another awesome cook, man. Uh, remember, this was a collaboration with uh, Alton from uh, the Dog Father's Barbecue. Do not forget, you want to check out his link. You want to check out his channel. That dude is a beast. He's awesome. He's got some awesome channels, uh, uh, some awesome videos. And uh, man, he cooks on everything. You name it under the sun, he's cooking on it. Uh, his link is below in the uh, description and to my top left. Uh, check him out, give him a holler, let him know CJ sent you. Uh, thank you once again for joining Mom and Papa Joe's for another awesome cook. Mom and I are getting ready to sit down and chow down. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. So simple, make this happen. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, don't forget to do so before you head out. Thanks once again, and we'll see you when we see you. You guys take care.